out to long on and deep square. We're underway, third ODI. Good start. No pace at all, bowled by Atapada. She really did toss that first one up. Yeah, it didn't give us much. Oh, and it hasn't been in form and hasn't played. Made in the air, tripped in the gap. Now we'll see the speed of this outfield because there's a long chase from long on. I'll tell you what, this is going all the way. This is the speed of this JB Marks Oval outfield. Worked away wide of mid-on. There'll be another brace here. This outfield is so fast. It'll be more than that. Down the ground for four. Beautiful stroke. Shot of the day. As straight as you like. Again, no overhitting. Just keeping shape. Timing sweetly. Outfield does, it does get better. You want to give yourself an opportunity to bat. Can't be playing on a good wicket from the change room, as they say. So don't mind the, the eating of balls, if you want to call it that. Yeah... That's such a beautiful hit that by Laura Volfard and it goes all the way this time. Sri Lanka would want to do. On this occasion, the timing is exceptional and it races away to the boundary. For got four. a lot of pace and it does turn a little bit. It's very dry. Reverse swept for four. Oh my word, that's good. That's really good from Goodall. The conventional sweep early in the over. Now the reverse sweep. Yes, spin bowling, of course. Oh, chipped in the air. This will not be a problem for Midon. Laura Goodall is just casually... Keeping the Midon field now, but she's been playing with her pace, and that's what, exactly what Sri Lanka needed. They needed the breakthrough. This has been a big partnership for South Africa, 116. Pulled away powerfully, and misfield again, and it races away for four. <laughs> Oh, Tons. Oh. Yes! Gone. That's soft from the South Africans. Oh, that's never nice. I think the captain is probably thinking that she's running towards the danger end, but um, it's her partner on the other side. out. Oh, big shout, yes! Lovely work this for Sri Lanka. And attack that front pad of Sunailis, just playing across it. And that is plum all day. Uh, Sri Lanka's well and truly on top. Yeah, three quick wickets. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Just too straight, but um, good awareness by Marizan. She knocks it up the ground. Century number seven for Laura Volfart, leading from the front. That's her fourth hundred this season. And she's been excellent from ball one to second hundred in Poch. Deserved applause from the crowd here in Poch of Strum. Another exquisite innings for Laura Volfart. And on cue, over deep with a wicket. That's a low risk shot. Midon was in the ring. It's a big shot again from Cup. She's definitely put the foot down on the accelerator. And that is a beautiful cricket shot from Laura Volfort all the way. Dancing down the wicket. Not early in her inning, she wouldn't jump down the track. But now that she's got 100, the bowler tried to bowl a little bit back of the length, but Laura Volfort picked it up beautifully. And again, there's a field change now. A little bit of confusion to shake the stumps. Oh, and she might be found wondering. Is Marzan Cup? That was a nick into the stumps. And we're going to have a look upstairs. That body language does not look good. Good look. Yeah, unfortunately, a direct hit. We've mentioned that Sri Lanka was a little bit sloppy before, but now they've got two run outs. In this innings already, and I think that's pretty clear. That unfortunately, even with a, a full stretch dive, Marizan Cup could not get back in time. And unfortunately, this will be the end of her inning. She scored 36 of 34 balls, and 187 for the loss of the fourth wicket. And there's the confirmation Cup's got to go. Kamari. Whipped through mid wicket. Oh, her timing is so good. You can't credit that shot. It is it is not a full blooded pull, it's just a back footed flick with the bottom hand. Bold well, here she goes to Volfart. 
and she's hammered it out through midwicket. That was a poor delivery. And when someone's got 129, you can't drag it down like that. That was packed away easily. Oh! That was powerfully struck, and 150 comes up for the captain. Shot. And that's how you start an over. Great hit by the He's captain. In. Letting the hands go. Absolutely muscling that one over the boundary. Brilliant shot from Volfort yet again. It's gone straight up and a good catch. Lovely catch on the boundary and uh, the end of Nadine Declare. And not getting all of it. It's the longer side of the ground. Considering the feeling that Sri Lankan players have put up today, that's a good catch. Always difficult coming forward. Yeah, lovely. Well, this time she stands still and a powerful strike. Beautifully for that one into her arc. Another six for the South Africa. Yeah, she's been brilliant. She really has been outstanding throughout her inning. She gets herself another bound for its arc. 300 up, 300 comes up for South Africa. And they still manage to come back for two time. Back to back hundreds for her. 184 of 147 not out. And then contributions by Goodall and also Marizan Cup and Declare. Yeah, the bowling was, was a struggle. Atapatu was good for the ball, one for 59, and so was Kavisha. Dilhari, two for 47, and the other bowlers really struggled. To Gunnar Ratni. And a good start. Yeah, Marizan Cup. Fastly experienced and oh yes that's a lovely shot and that's gone for Eight four movement and then after one goes through the keeper goes for four and uh, Atapatu just shows a class punches this one through the covers for four and that's four more just beautifully played by Gunnar Ratni and another good over for Sri Lanka. Big hit down the ground for six. She's middled that. The sound it made off the bat, you knew straight away it was going all the way. Looking very comfortable and looking very dangerous. We spoke about a couple of shots from Laura Wolford, but Maya Atapatu just stamped the authority on the innings with that shot. It's out the ground. And that is a long way, Brett. Absolute long way. Out. That I care all the way from Eccles, you know, such a big moment. 100th cap for Ayawonga. Did you ever see it for her? And what does this mean for you, your family? Knocked around the corner. They'll be thinking of two. They're coming back for the second. How's the arm? It's not good enough. Back for two and back for 50. And then occasionally. Yeah! Big shout. Given! South Africa strike and they get the breakthrough eventually. Well, she opens up the offside and that's a lovely strike by Sri Lanka's captain. Oh, that's another lovely shot. We saw power in the other two boundaries this time. It's just the, the placement. Oh, yes. Lovely work there by Dalmi Tucker. Takes a brilliant catch. And South Africa get another. Just losing control of that shot. And that's a brilliant catch from Tucker. Diving to her right. Those are the catches that need to be taken in the defense of a high total of force. And a failure to hit square over the wicket. You drop that long off down. Get the protection. And whether you're forcing her to play square, it might be an LBW bold opportunity. A big shout and given, and yes, she strikes. She gets a wicket with her first delivery here, Ayabonga Kaka. Big shout. Oh, no, and given. Oh, my goodness, Ayabonga Kaka. She strikes again. 
That's a poor delivery. That, she's bowled so well in this spell, and that's just a drag down. That's easy pickings for De Silva. Yeah, Sri Lanka are ahead. Down the ground she goes, straight, and is it going for four? Yes, it is, and it's a hundred for Chamari Atapatu. Her second versus South Africa, the ninth of her career. She's been on the field the entire match. She bowled well, but she has batted exquisitely. It's been all power and play. Tactics that go going forward. There's tactics for you. My word, that's a good stroke. Footwork, meeting cup. <laughs> Oh my. And the inside edge for Madhupadu. Looking for the big shot over deep with wicket. No, no, no. It's not good enough. We understand that you're bowling to a plan, Chris, but the margin for error coming around the wicket. Nadine declared. Oh. And it's a boundary to start her over. It's 154. It was a dangerous one. And a lovely shot. Oh my goodness. Just class. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful by the captain. She is when she hits the ball. And the timing. Wow. She doesn't hang back, does she? <laughs> when the opportunity comes. She hits the ball so hard. Lovely. My goodness. You've got to appreciate. Just a glorious cricket shot. Wow. That is. I, I love how she held the shape. Because I would want to see a photo. She deserves it. She will hit and go, and if it hits, oh, that just sums up South Africa's effort in the field. And what delight for De Silva. Tire innings. Yes, she will. She hits it on the bank. What a win for Sri Lanka. What a performance by Chamari Atapatu. She Qualifying automatically for that World Cup. And there's the batting lineup. Kanaratna went 26. Atapatu, 195 off 139 balls. It is an epic innings that we witnessed here in Pochettino. And De Silva, the valuable 50 she scored, supporting her captain. Kaka in her 100th international gave South Africa hope. But when you look at all the bowling figures, only the 5.1 to the over. Malaba came on very late. I suppose they were trying to shield her from the left-hander, but she bowled a decent spell, created the chance in the deep that got put down. One day international innings. The first by Laura Wolfart you didn't think could be trumped this evening. But it was Shamari Atapatu, an innings of a lifetime.